Hey guys, this is Dr. Cheryl Wood. It's Monday morning. It's just about 7.45 or so. I am sitting in my car. I just finished dropping off my boys at school. And, you know, it's ironic that it's rainy today because it really is a bit reflective of how I woke up feeling this morning. I didn't get much sleep. And I woke up this morning just with a heaviness in my heart, a sadness in my heart at the loss of our amazing GSU sister, Shar Robinson, Coach Shar, as we all know her. And so I wanted to leave this message uh, as two things. Number one, as a mini tribute to Coach Shar, and number two, as a reminder for the rest of us. My tribute to Dr. Coach Shar is she was one of the most amazing clients I've ever been blessed to work with and partner with. And the reason that she was one of the most dynamic clients that I got to work with is because she came in like a fireball, y'all. She was ready. You know, you have clients who are ready. They're like, I'm not making no excuses. I'm not waiting. No, I want it now. (laughs) And she was confident that she had a message related to healing from grief that it was imperative that she share that message. And she was committed to doing whatever was necessary for her to learn how to master the art of speaking and sharing that message in a way that would touch lives and transform lives. And I just, I will never forget her. And I am grateful that I had the opportunity to know her, to get to love her, to partner with her, to support her, and to see her growth and her development. I can remember when she first joined GSU, the community, I remember uh, her joining almost around the same time that I joined Toastmasters, maybe maybe a month or so after I joined Toastmasters. And I have watched her just grow. I've watched her passion get deeper. I've watched her commitment grow. And it was beautiful. She was energized and passionate, enthusiastic, committed, like, you know, and I got to experience certain parts of Coach Shar that maybe others didn't in a way that I got to hear her story of why she was so committed to helping people to overcome and heal through grief because she lost her best friend. And she went through over 10 years of depression from that and questioning God and questioning life, you know, the things that happen when we lose people that we love. And it was beautiful to see her um, be coachable enough to to allow me to pour into her and to be willing to make changes and tweaks so that when she shared the story, it touched your hearts the way it touched my heart. But I also got to experience that part of her that didn't have as much confidence, that had a little bit of imposter syndrome, and that wasn't quite sure of the impact that she could make. And to be able to work with her and to see her blossom to this confident, energized, passionate woman who I tell you was committed to taking over the world and sharing this message of healing from grief, it it just makes me smile. And her story will live on. Her legacy will live on. So today I celebrate you, Coach Shar, and everything that you gave to us and gave to the world. And just know that your legacy, it it matters and your fingerprint, it counts even now in your absence. We know that you are in a better place, and uh, but you will be missed here on the earthly realm. And then my second part of my message is to you, those of you who are listening to this, watching this, to remind you of something that I share quite frequently when I'm speaking on stage, especially to women who tend to put their hopes, their dreams, their possibilities, their legacy on the back burner. Please stop making a to-do list and make a today list. That doesn't mean that you don't have a vision. It doesn't mean you don't write the vision and make it plain. It doesn't mean that you don't create plans. But understand that a plan is just that. It is something that you hope that you will be able to bring to fruition. It is something that you intend to work towards so that there's a possibility that it will manifest. But there is no guarantee. 
And I believe that this is another reminder that you have to create a sense of urgency about doing it today. So all of you are in this group, you're in this community of GSU because you say, I have a story, I have a message, I have a mission, or I want to start a movement, or I have this expert knowledge that I don't want to keep to myself. And my challenge to you is to do it today. Stop waiting on the perfect time, the perfect circumstances. And I apologize if I'm a little choked up and emotional because this is just, it's real. Stop waiting on the perfect circumstances, the perfect person to come, the perfect time. Y'all, share your voice today. Share it with your Uber driver. Share it with a waitress. Share it with a family member. Share it on Facebook Live. Share it on social media. And I don't care if only one person clicks like. Just know that that is your fingerprint. Or as I've coined now, your voice print. And it deserves to be felt in the world. But it cannot be felt if you are staying quiet. It cannot be felt if you are still questioning whether or not you're good enough to share what you know, yes, you are good enough. And let me add this part. Sometimes the groups that you want to be a part of so bad, the groups that you want to be accepted by so bad, the people that you want to acknowledge you and recognize you and say that you are somebody so bad are not going to be the po people who elevate you, celebrate you, uplift you, and see you. It is your job to get out of your own way and to allow God to lead you to the places that see you. You don't have time to chase people. You don't have time to chase some community that doesn't even value you or see you. You must spend your time in the spaces that make you feel seen, that give you opportunities to be heard, to share your voice, and to create your legacy because all of us will have a transition date. And the question simply remains, when that transition date happens, will people, will somebody be sitting in their car, like I am now, making a video about the impact that you made? Talking about how infectious your story or energy was or your passion and how you helped touch them, impact them, how they were moved by your unique fingerprint or your voice. Will someone be sitting in their car, reminiscing and reflecting about who you were to the world and in the world, just like I am right now about Coach Shar. You owe it to yourself to create that legacy today, just in case your tomorrow doesn't show up. What are you doing today? Who are you going to inspire today, motivate today, educate today, inform today, Encourage today, uplift today with your voice. Your voice matters, but only you can make it count. And I dare you to make it count, just like Coach Shar made her voice count. Coach Shar, rest in peace. You are loved. You are missed dearly already. The world will not be the same without you, but, but we will never be the same because of you. Have an amazing day, everyone. Stop making a to-do to list and make a today list.